All right, everybody, welcome back to Kremiel the Fallen Angels Adventure in Baldur's Gate 3. And last time we tried to save a couple civilians, I'm gonna assume, in this in this uh, mansion that just is flaming for whatever reason. I'm not sure why. But, yeah, I just couldn't. So I'm gonna just take a look around here. Maybe there's somebody else that is still alive, though I would assume not because the other person is dead. Because the fire is actually spreading. So I think I just leave at this point. I'll just talk to dude and see what happens. Okay. What if I talk to Gauntlet Dane? Ah. Well, okay then. Is there even a way to stop all this fire? That's what I don't know. There's a lot of fire and I would need something or somebody that can use uh, water without using spells. Like, just without using spell slot. Alright, let's sucky sucky some blood with good old Asterion over here. Just make sure we heal him up, you know? Let's talk to first recruit. Grant me the might to carry this burden. Grant me the faith to face darkness without fear. Hmm. Oh, we got the old breaker thing. Ha. Okay, so this actually has story implications. Damn. That's deep. So this is why I like this game. In the first place, I'm the one that talked him into joining the fist. All right, now I don't mind being an old breaker all that much. A massacre. Drow and goblins slaughtered the lot. Please, just leave me be. Cremiel with a judgmental look. Alright. See, now, because I have the Oathbreaker thing... Uh, I didn't know, by the way. I found out a little bit later, uh, after making the Broken Oath video, that I think I broke my oath when I... Killed the three people, or rather the first person, in uh, in the grove when I saved Saza. <laughs> yeah, I did not know, okay? I, I did not know that's how it works. I was not even aware you can break your oath, or that I had an oath in the first place. Uh, keep in mind, I've never played Dungeons and & Dragons, and this is my first playthrough as a Paladin subclass, basically. Even though I was not aware the Blackguard is a Paladin subclass. Uh, anyway, we're just gonna move this way, I think. There is this book here. Let's try to read. Okay, something about marketplace. Not going to cities, taverns. Uh, something about becoming lost. Sewerage? Okay. So we can go into the sewers, I would assume. That's kind of nice. Um, again, I may sip some coffee. I know I say this every video, but I'm usually doing the videos in the morning. And that's usually when I drink my coffee, so I'm sorry. Let's make Asterion walk over the blood. You know what? Let's make him walk over one more puddle. Since I can. There we go, heal him up. Might as well suck you some other blood, if you know what I mean. Look at him, dude! Oh my god, what was that animation, bro? Guy just running feral. Holy, okay. Alright, let's go check this windmill. Or do I go down here? Can I even go down here? I don't recall. Um, let's see, where exactly are we? I think this is where we... So this is where we fought the... The gnolls and the... Hainaz, and uh, down there is where we found Karlak. 
there's the mansion that was set on fire, or rather the house that was set on fire by Karlak. And where we fought the other people. Anything down here? A Belladonna, some mirror grass. Let's let's check. Let's just check. I wish Wazd would allow me to go down. But he doesn't. Yeah, Wazd doesn't work a hundred percent of the time for all the things. Okay, so yeah, sometimes we still gotta use the mouse. Oh. Good old flat rock. Can I move? I can. Bloodstone? Let me check. What is that bloodstone? Where exactly? Oh. Anyone can squeeze blood. Okay. So, I just give this to Asterion, I believe. Because if that's something you use blood... Something that makes blood, rather. I would be very good for Asterion. We got a skeleton over here. Two. Ocean of mind reading. History failed. Sad. Whoever they were, their equipment's no use to them now. True story. That's it. I don't think we care for the equipment all that much, honestly. Because it's kind of kind of bad. Okay, so I don't think I can go this way. Now, here's the question that I got. Do I continue venturing in that direction, which would lead me towards the Gityanki Crash, and I believe it's behind the Goblin Stronghold, or do I go this way, which I've never actually been? I've also never been to the Githyanki Crash, by the way. Um... We do have to find Halsin, but at the same time... Do I really... I am an Oathbreaker. I am... I am literally role-playing as a Fallen Angel. I know a lot of you guys may not like this, but we are technically... I wouldn't call a Fallen Angel evil. I would say it's basically kind of neutral. Okay, it's got a little bit of good, it's got a little bit of bad. So, yeah. I'm doing bad stuff, I'm doing good stuff. You know, like people, basically. Imagine if people would just sprout some wings, bro. Fallen angels everywhere. Literally. Alright. Um, let's see now. Let's go this way. I'm gonna just go with the flow. Oh, what's this? A dragon rider? My king dragon rider? A who? A where? There's a chest here. Is this a dragon rider? No, that's a tiefling. Okay, we got a bunch of arrows. Where does Dragon Rider? Where does Dragon Rider? Hello? Random. I'll feed your innards to the ants before I do that, Istik. This is your last chance. No, look up. That was your last. Oh, hold up. This is the first time I actually get to the dragon, by the way. Okay. So these dragons are literally the place where the, the Githyankis are. Huh. Remember we saw them on the... What's it called? Oh, I forgot. I forgot the name. What, what's that called? Stop wasting time, Beretta. It's not binocular. It's the singular the one. The, the monocular? No. <laughs> we made a sword to... No excuses. Question, kill, then move on. Find the weapon. Our queen watches us. Fail her at your peril. Alright. A red dragon. I envy its night. Would that I rode such a steed. A crash must be near. Come, my kin await. Uh, they do look dangerous, but at the same time, we do have Lazel. Uh... I'll just go with option number three. 
And we, we'll just bat the dragon on the head, I suppose. The dragons serve Githyanki. I'll see it does you no harm. Follow me. We are close to the cure we see. In before we find out Lazel, or rather I found out. No <clears throat> find out, not found out. Being before I find out Lazel is actually some Githyanki princess or something, or a queen. That, that may be the case, by the way. I do not know. I'll let you know right now. I have no idea. Ryder, my time is short. Lead me to... Shh, shh, shh. Such a familiar tone. Were I not merciful, I would slice the skin clean from your meat. Okay. Yet you are not bleeding, for I am nothing if not merciful. Your name, child. Huh. We have a an Asimar specific. We have an Asimar specific, but Lazelle really doesn't like that one. Hmm. Uh. I mean, I don't really. Have to please Lazel. It does give us a plus 10 though if I leave her just talk. You know? Hmm. Also, at the same time, Korlak doesn't like it if I do the Asimar one. And I don't mind Korlak, so I'll just give it the nod. Lazel. Proud. Regal, even. You will call me Jestil Kithrak. These names, bro. Knight Supreme. The Queen's Silver. The Queen's Sword. I am who you say. A geek vessel has fallen from the sky, Lazel. Thieves aboard have taken a weapon most precious. It is polyhedric in shape and inscribed with the sacred runes of our people. Oh, no. Oh, that's, that's, that's Shadow Heart's uh, artifact. 100%. So the artifact does not want to go into into Githyanki hands. Does not want to fall into the Gith Raiders' hands. Huh. Take word to your crash. You are to join our search. Um. Speak up, child. Affirm your mandate. Hmm. Hmm. I don't really want to fight the git because if this guy is the the queen's sword <laughs> he, he will obviously have backup truth makes no sense to me because currently lazelle does not know shadowheart has the artifact we have not triggered any cutscene during this current playthrough and i know for a fact she should find out at some point also, I know Githyanki, or rather, Lazel and Shadowheart don't really go well with each other. Because of said cutscene. I have seen it once. So, because that doesn't work here, we're gonna have to use Persuasion. Hopefully we don't fail, because we do have low charisma. <laughs> Remember, we are an Oathbreaker. And I did not specifically spec for Charisma and Wisdom. I am currently a melee, uh, well, basically a melee Paladin. Mm. That's bad, bro. Come on. Oh my god, that's worse. How do I roll worse? Come on, I have one more. Come on, don't fail me now. Bro, how do I literally roll one worse each time? That makes no sense. Huh. Oh, he's about to attack. We have to protect. Only in death. 
are the infected cleanse. Oh, okay. So he's a fanatic. Oh my god, we are about to fight a dragon. Aren't we? Please no. Our search continues. A current of deception carries Voss's words. Wherever he flies, it is not to Vlacket. Okay. So he's lying. Bro. That's one mean looking motherfucker. Okay. Well, we have to fight. Let's see. Hey, yo. Where are my other people at? How... How is everybody else not in combat, by the way? Uh, of course, they just randomly join when I click. That makes no sense, but okay. Let's see. We have Pactbound Rapier. Um, This is per battle, so I'm assuming this does not expire since it hasn't gone away. And I don't have to use it again. I think it's just Eldritch Blast, but I need to get a little bit closer just to make sure I can get into melee when I need it. Also make sure I don't... Yeah, just spread. Okay, just spread. Um... Oh, Lazel is right up in there, brother. Right there. Ooh, this guy's a level 6. Or she is a level 6. A leveler. Ready to parry. The fudge? That is my first time I see this. So I'm assuming next attack. Reduce the incoming damage by 10. The Gityanki can parry and attack as long as they have a reaction. They wield a greatsword and they aren't blinded, incapacitated, or restrained. Oh. Oh, Shadowheart might just play a big role on this one. And I'll show you why. But first, I need to make sure... I need to Eldritch Blast somebody. Or... Bone Chill somebody. Apparently these are very low. Man. Sure, I'll just hit the rider. And it's a miss. It's a 50-50, keep that in mind. Alright, we move here. Even though wheel's a little bit... Not good, but it's fine. Alright. If I use Mark of the Fallen on somebody else, will this... Also be on me? I don't really know that. Alright, we have to jump into melee action. Can I jump the... I can! Oh, that's cool, because I'm literally pinning down three people. There's another person here, which I only just now saw. Can I move just a little bit without being targeted? Not really, no. Because this one's in the way. I could move it, but then I'm probably wasting an action, so I'm not gonna try. I'm gonna attempt a cleave on three people at the same time. Okay. So I removed the parry effect. I did five damage and this one just dodged. Cringe. But at least I got rid of the good old parry. Okay. Do I try a thunder punch? He's kind of weak. They're high defense, which is kind of cringe. You know what? I really don't think I can do anything else. I need to make use of Astral Knowledge as well. So I'm gonna do that after this fight. Um, Why can't I use this, by the way? I am a smidge confused. I need to figure this one out. So I don't have the... Tears Protection on. I do have the weapon equipped. But for some reason I can't use Tears Protection. Maybe because it's bonus action and I... Uh, is this because I used it in... Oh, I used it in the previous fight. I need to short rest. Okay. Alright. Just mag this one. 
If there is something I hate, it's critical miss. I'm sorry, I need to turn that off. That is one of the most annoying things I have seen in any game. No critical failures. I don't mind failing, but a critical failure in melee range is something that just annoys the hell out of me. That needs to not happen. Also, turn this off. <laughs> Let's make sure nobody got critical failures on, because that is very cringe to me. I do want to play the game how I want to play the game. Not with critical failures. Okay, we are dashing. Car like needs to get in there. That is almost in range to where I need to be. I am. All right, let's just move all the way over there. And at least I'm pinning down the level six one. And we are raging. Let's see. What if Claw? No, my hands transform into Claws. I'll just use Tail. Tail can cause targets to miss, no? If I read that correctly. Can I check, though? I can't check. But if I recall, that's how Tail works? Question mark? This... Oh my god, so annoying. Alright. Shadowheart, I need you to get into melee to somehow use... Uh, what's it called? Hold up, I need to read. Oh, it's 18 meters. Oh, I have no level 2 spell slot. Oh, that's bad. See, I wanted to use heat metal to cause the sword to get heated to make sure a person drops sword. But since I don't have heat metal... Because I don't have the level 2 spell slot, I can't use that. Man, that's pissing me off, actually. I was planning to use that. That's fine. Time to run. Okay, I think I just put Shadowheart in here. She's not gonna be straight up melee range, but it's fine. I don't think she can hit from here. Um... Do I have a reaction from this range? I am not sure, but I could use Compelled Duel. Which I think I just might. Yeah, it's a 50. Sure. Let's go, baby! So this means they are forced to fight for three turns? Yeah. So technically, they can't leave. Gotta make sure I use everything I got in my arsenal. Let's see. Because I, I know for a fact I keep just not using stuff. So I'm gonna try to use stuff more often. I forgot to put on mage armor. Sad. Alright. Gale. You gotta TP up here. Oh boy. I'm sorry, but Dimension Traveler is the most broken class in this mod list so far by far i believe the fact that i can use spells for free is just broken actually broken all right i think i just do this and 100 percent jesus gale my man <laughs> all right i'll try to get rid of the zastri radar first she's just a little bit lower hp than the rest Make sure I kill her off. And then try to destroy this one. So I can just smack the other fools that are up here. Now, they should technically... Oh, hold person on Lazelle. That's cringe. Oh my god, what? I'm sorry, how many hits? Mother Yucker just hit Lazelle six times, if I, if I counted that correctly. Also, Gale just got one shot. Oh my god. Yo, how many moves you got? What the f- Okay, this is actual BS, I'm sorry. But this is actual BS. Okay, how do I do this? <laughs> without getting destroyed. Because I, I, I'm pretty sure I just got destroyed. Absolutely smacked. Okay. Let's put Lazel on- uh, Not Lazel. This guy on blood. Pick Lazel up, please. 
Shadowheart would have been way better here, but I think I can heal Lazel. Hopefully we crit. Are you fucking kidding me? How do I miss, bro? Nah, that makes no sense. Alright, uh... Let's put good old Astarion in there, even though there's a lot of blood there. But, yeah. Oh, you're compelled to, to duel, but you're moving out of melee. Ah. I did not uh, take that into consideration. How did compelled... What? Like, I just broke compelled. Oh my god, what is that? What is that damage? What the fuck? Actually. Like, hello? <laughs> I just rolled a 1, by the way. I'm sorry, why are these people doing so much damage? Like, that is way too much damage, bro. What the fuck? Like, I get it. You're doing some psionic shit, but that is BS as hell. What the fuck? I know I'm swearing a lot this video, but holy, what what is that, bro? Can I read your weapon damage? Because this is absurd. I'm sorry, I can't fight this. I literally cannot fight this. This is bullshit. I know it's modded and I got increased difficulty, but this is actual BS. What the flip? <sighs> and they're doing like... 60 damage in two hits. What? Also, their singular hits are, in fact, multi-hits from what I'm seeing. Because I'm getting hit multiple times by a single attack. Look at this damage! 53! Plus 5, plus 19, motherfucker, what? <laughs> How? Also, keep in mind, Kremiel had the, the, the fear, and nobody's feared. I am extremely confused. Also, how do you hit me for 53 damage? Like, what What in the hell is that? <laughs> I know this is tactician, but that's actual BS. The fudge do I even do here? Oh my god, I, I can't even do anything. I just... Hope they miss, I guess. They're obviously not gonna. That was a crit heal, by the way. Almost full. Okay, I gotta waste Will's turn. So I can pick up good old man Gale. And unfortunately, if I pick him up, I can't hit anymore, but it's fine. I'm just gonna try to pin him down. I'll use a Healy. Attempt to stay alive as long as possible. Oh, brother. Yeah, like, look at this. These guys are level 4. This was level 5. Compared 75 HP to 16. What, what in the living hell? And they're all high armor, by the way. Like, this is some massive difficulty increase, and I got no level 2 spells to make sure I use spiritual weapon just to tank. Ugh. Jesus. Jesus! Trying to pin people down is annoying as well. What is my stat on int? 8. Sad. Bro, everything's a 50 or below. Uh. Alright. How do I do this without getting destroyed? Just absolutely smacked. Okay. Hopefully she can tank some hits. That's all I'm saying. All I need from Lazel is to just tank some hits at this point. And let's use Blessing of the Forge. Give us an extra 1 AC, which put us up to 18. 
And let's get into melee. I'm gonna get myself destroyed, but it's fine. It's really not fine. The fact that I have no moves is cringe, by the way. I need to get Grandpa out of the way. Just make sure he doesn't get sniped. Alright. Hopefully he can hit from over here. I'm sorry, but... What? Okay, level 2 does nothing extra. Please don't get destroyed. There we go. The fact that he can just do that, brother. Oh, brother. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting absolutely smacked hard. I feel like Astarion might just be the play. But the fact that he just missed the bloodletting... Is, is mind-boggling to me. Oh my god, bro. Okay, at least he got a melee off. Of course the trip just one-shots Will. Oh boy. Oh my god. Bro. Multiple ra What are these gifts, bro? I should not be here. I should definitely not be here, bro. What the flick? What the flick of the wrist? What is this? If I pick her up, I waste an action. But if I don't pick her up, she's gonna die. <sighs> I don't have enough moves, brother. I, le I need at least a full party of level 5s for this. There, there's gotta be something that it's increasing the difficulty for these, like, Omega hard. Because ain't no way just because this is Tactician they're this strong. Ain't no way. I refuse to believe that. <laughs> Wait, did I not just pick up Shadow Heart? I'm sorry, what? Did I not just pick up Shadow Heart? I just used help. Can this fail? No, I'm sorry. This is a complete failure. My entire party is dead. Karlak did not even get the move. Yeah, no. We have to we have to save scum this. This this is there is no way I am fighting that. Ain't no way. I need to skip town, bro. Because that's just ending my run. Straight up. I don't want to end the story right now, okay? That's the only reason why I'm doing it. I'm not... I, I don't want to play... I, not, I am not ready for this mod compilation. To just... Be... Ending my... My run like that. It would be too much to hope that's nothing to do with us. <sighs> I need the highest charisma dude I got, and I think that's Will. I need Will to pull off the The strongest dialogue option he's ever pulled. The biggest persuasion hit ever. First of all, let me talk to whoever this is. Hold up before they see you, Margresham. The hell does Margresham mean? Uh, I'll just go with option four. Important things to watch than my harassing tongue. Look, that lot are swarming all over the bridge. I don't know what they want, but it can't be good. I'm going to find another way around. You ought to do the same. I doubt a fight against them would go your way. Uh, yeah, we just found out the hard way. <laughs> Wait, can I make this person join us? What? You sure. I go my own way. Alone. Sounds like a bad idea. Nobody. Just another harassing fool trying to stay alive. There's plenty of us around. 
Okay. So is there a way to just not get destroyed by the git? I need to make sure Will is the one talking. Because Kremiel is obviously not. Not the plan. Before I do that, is take. This is your last chance. No, look up. That was your last chance, Istik. Now burn. I am hoping to not get. Uh, actually, we need to skip these because we've seen this. Okay, come on. The game just freeze? Oh, my screen is black. My screen is black. Oh, there we go. Took a while. <laughs> Alright, I don't know why we just started that, but I'm guessing this chest procs the... What if I take heavy chest with me? Nah, they wouldn't be forced to hit the chest. That big dragon though. 572 HP, Jesus! Okay, why is this guy following the gift? <laughs> uh, that, that, that guy over there could just literally destroy the entire gift clan solo, I'm pretty sure. Wait. Oh, this dude's level 12. Ew. Easy prey you make, walking right within my blade's embrace. These creatures are so simple to ensnare, Beretha. You mule too much about your task. I'm sorry, did I just get another dialogue? As for you, tell me, why shouldn't I run you through this instant? Okay, well, I think we use persuasion because high charisma. We can do Intimidation too, but I'm not gonna do that. Okay, high charisma? We need it. Thank you, Will. <laughs> Thanks for being the Chad. Of course you are not a threat. You are nothing until I tell you otherwise. For you to keep sucking air, it is necessary for you to tell me something of worth. Oh no. A vessel fell from the sky. We seek a precious weapon that was taken from it. You suddenly feel a strange anxiety take hold. Not your own, but that of the artifact you carry. Somehow, it's... I'm confused how the entire party knows Shadowheart has the artifact. The artifact does not want to part from you. Anyway. It does not want to fall into the gith raid. I guess they just coded the game that way. Help us find it and I will leave your blood beneath your skin unspilled. Um. Sure, let's just go with this. Do not speak. Your bleating offends my ears. My God, bro! God complex much? Uh oh, oh, that's bad. No, that's so bad. What? <laughs> there we go. Nothing even approaching a useful thought in that skull. I ought to just kill you. Okay. So we definitely use... Uh, we don't use the tech thought. We need a charisma. I'm not going to use the intimidation route. Just in case I randomly... Hmm. I mean, I could go with one or three. I don't want to go the intimidation route because, yeah. I'll just tell them to just flip and leave, bro. Yeesh! In before I get smacked. Okay, thank God you're high charisma. My 
My blade is my right. If I can take your life, it is mine. But perhaps you have other uses. Very well, Istik. Seek out some right. from the ship that crashed the on this flick wreck. is Istik. I really need to explain these words. I need a dictionary. If you succeed, the reward will be great. Now go. Okay. All right, we finally avoided the fight. Uh, note the self. Don't piss off Voss, the dragon, or the gith in general. They are much too strong <laughs> at this stage of the game. Also, I am very confused why Lazelle did not talk. Come, my kin await. Okay. The dragon served at Yankee. I'll see it does you no harm. No, you you won't actually. We are gonna get destroyed if you're the one talking. Um anyway. So I'm guessing we needed the Lazel to be there, which for some reason uh complete failure by the way. Is weird because they did not follow Will, by the way, for some reason. Will went up front because high charisma. Nobody from the party actually followed except for Astarion, who kind of was looking a little bit sus. And now I'm very confused. What exactly happened? I am very much confused because Lazel just had her dialogue options after the fact. Yeah. I, I'm kind of confused right now. Alright, let's see. Uh, Where's Shadow R? Let's check your shield. It's a plus two. Let's check Shadow... Uh, this one's Karlak's shield. There we go. I keep forgetting the names. There's so many names to remember. Y'all gotta remember, I got bad memory. <laughs> okay. I think we talked to Lazel again? Question mark? She's not moving, so... Your skull trembles, your parasite wriggles. Lazel sees your memories of your confrontation with Kithrak Voss. Voss? Just still Kithrak Knights... Okay. An honorable warrior. Vlakit's Got a different type of dialogue now. Huh. He wanted your head. Yet it remains firmly atop your shoulders. A lesser woman would be adorning the room. Brother, we only got through that because of because of uh will. <laughs> um I don't think we go with number three. I don't think we go with number three. I I also don't think we should be going to the crash anymore. Because I feel like they're just going to try to destroy us, so if I do go to the crash, I need to be leveled up. If by nice, you mean so I think we go back to Goblin Stronghold, because because uh, I, I will get destroyed by the Gith. Literally. The crash is not far from where you met Voss. We must go there immediately. Unless, of course, you'd rather sprout waxy tendrils where there were no tendrils before. Okay. Uh, and if Voss finds us? Keep me at your side, and I will invoke protocol. It is my god, you gotta shut up, bro. You think you're god, but my guy is literally one-upping you. We might have avoided the night's fury. No, you quite literally failed last time. Though she doesn't know, because that was another save, which I have deleted conveniently. Um, Are you sure the crash is the only path? Entirely. I was as devoted to my studies as I was to my training. Each crash contains a Sathisk purification device. So I learned from the writings in the Kaleer Library. The library was a gift from Vlakith herself, that we may gain total understanding. I need some understanding of your words as well. Wisdom is very valuable, but total understanding? Hmm, I don't know about that one. 
books have proven time and time again that uh, they're not entirely correct. That said, I guess I'll go with wisdom is very valuable. Even though I will make Shadow Horde just dislike me a smidge. Countless scholars roam the astral sea and beyond, observing the ways of our lessers, exploring planes so distant, order turns to chaos and cold fires rage. The planes are ever quaking and their peoples ever shifting. The Githyanki possess an eternity of knowledge. Yet we still collect more. Infinities upon infinities. Interesting. They don't much about Mind Flayers. Uh, I'd like you to join me. It is done. You just randomly left the party for no reason. That was very confusing. Also, do we go that way? Do we go that way? Or do we go that way? Because I can actually go that way if I teleport with Gale. Let's check map. Unexplored territory. The crash in this way. Stronghold that way. We have no idea what the flip is that way. Well, I know where stronghold and in what direction the crash is. But what if I go in a direction where I have no idea what it is that I'm supposed to be doing in that way? Can I even teleport there? How is this not enough space? I'm sorry, what? Wait, I can teleport there. Will I die, though? What? <laughs> what the fuck just happened? <laughs> I just teleported inside Chasm and insta-died. What the fuck? I um What? Well, rip Gale. I tried to go that way. Can I revive Gale? I can if I waste the uh, a revify. Oh, that is so cringe. Why did the game even allow me to dimension travel inside the mountain? Just to die, by the way. It did not say death. It did not say death. Gotta keep that in mind. That was very weird. Alright, come on. I think Lazel is back in the party properly. Okay. Let me try again. That was weird. Can I really not... Teleport all the way over there? Why can I why can I teleport here? Why can I go there but I cannot go the other the other side of the bridge? This makes no sense to me. How is this not enough space to teleport? I am going to assume the game just doesn't want me there. Have a lot on my mind. That may be the second act, and I just don't know it. I'll just assume that's the second act. Do I want to be at the Gidyanki crash? E I don't know if I do. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if I do. Let's talk to Shadowheart, see what she has to say. It seems the Githyanki are keen to reclaim the artifact I carry. I can't afford that to happen. In fact, none of us can. That thing is shielding us somehow. I don't want to know what happens if we lose it. Hmm, how do we know the our artifact is shielding us again? I'll just assume Shadowheart knows this, for whatever reason. Um. Let's go option number two. Why is it so important? Ah, I know what I know, of course. I intend to do. The rest is immaterial to me. Ah, uh, why do I feel like Shadowheart's so stupid, bro? Like... <sighs> this soldier mentality is so silly. Not, Don't just follow orders, motherfucker. <laughs> I use your brain a little. Why is it important? 
Um, we don't journey separately. What is the story with that, though? No story. None that you're entitled to hear. Are you serious? Just forget you ever. We can't. It. We literally cannot. <laughs> All right. I will not go towards Githyanki crash territory. Uh, I think we literally need to go back into Goblin land. But I'll do so in a way in which I've never done it before, which means I'm taking it from the back. If I can, that is. I've never been here, so let's find out what here even means. Also, what is this way? Let's see, we got a chest. <sighs> the reason I'm not going with the Githyanki crash right, uh, route right off the bat is because if they attack, we get destroyed. <laughs> we just had a preview of what's gonna happen. Alright, can I jump there? I can. There we go. Making sure everybody hops on the other side of the map. Uh, random burrow hole. I've never been here. Keep that in mind. Oh. I was not even aware you can go into the stronghold from behind, by the way. that you've used on others only infinitely stronger and turned against you your vision clouds leaving you in a dark featureless shadowscape nothingness in every direction then there are three figures before you an armored male elf exuding power and command a handsome younger man with a quick easy smile and a pale young woman with even paler eyes. These are my chosen. They speak for me. Aid their search for the prison, and you will be worthy to stand beside them. In my presence. Yeah, nah. Those gloves are... A little bit yeah we got some clipping you feel energy pulsing from the artifact lifting the pain from you pushing the voice away my power grows my forces gather Alright, so I'll assume this is how we find out the artifact is protecting us. And I'll also assume that we should have been in the stronghold before we found the Git Yankee. I'm just saying. We should keep going. The voice is gone. Muted by this this Gith relic. Why does a half elf carry it? So, the game does not take into consideration the fact that people may just wander off and do things out of order? Question mark? Because this is literally what should have happened before the Githyanki. Anyway. Yeah, I think we were supposed to be here first and then meet the Githyanki so we get those options. Anyway, uh... We did that the other way around, but it's fine. Mm, the vision, that voice, what was it? I think that was the absolute speaking to us. Okay. But we managed to shield ourselves. We should keep. I moving. assumed as much. Uh, the artifacts seem to stop the voice. What is it? 
exactly. All I know is it's important I get it back to Baldur's Gate. At any cost. Okay, uh... Let's go option number one. I suppose if we're to continue together, I may as well tell you. I serve Shah. My home is a secret cloister in Baldur's Gate. A group of us were sent to retrieve the artifact. Now I'm the only one. Quite did not notice, by the way. I can't afford to fail. I can't tell you anymore. This mission required utmost secrecy. We all submitted to having our memories suppressed so that we couldn't betray Shah's confidence. If I reach my contact in the city, I'll have my memories restored. Until then, I have to guard the artifact with my life. There. You have the truth. Okay. For all it's worth. Let's continue. Uh, I'm not hearing Gil talk. At all. So Gil doesn't like... Shar. I don't really care for the, the worshipping of some god that's random because we are faithless remember your faith is your own concern not mine true i didn't think you'd react so pragmatically perhaps i should have told you sooner we do be faithless though remember that <laughs> we don't care about them gods we are a fallen angel for a reason in future i expect you to be honest Gladly. All right. Now that we've leveled with Shadowheart just a little bit, and just finally done some explaining, I actually kind of wish I kept Shadowheart as a trickster, because burrow holes, and I can't go inside because I have nobody that can uh, enter. <laughs> uh. Okay, I just had to wait because I didn't know what, what was happening. Just random field survival check, huh? Who, where? Well, that's a bunch of stuff. Ooh, more grenade. I'll, I'll take all the grenades I can get. So we can't go over here. That's an interesting way to go basically kind of around the stronghold. Well, we did get to the stronghold. Now the question is, what's gonna happen? Because I did save Saza, and I've never saved Saza before. I don't know what I'm doing. This is news to me. Let's see, what is this? Find the Goblin Priestess. There? Through the burrow hold? Question mark? Because I'm confused. Why is it showing up there? What? Wait. It has to be through the burrow hold. I am so confused. Mmm, okay. Can I really not get in there? Wait, I do have a uh, spark. Can I summon spark? Can't seem to be able to summon spark. Pretty sure I had a dog, no? What is this? Shielded from the absolute? Okay. We do have some rest options. Quite ready for you. Okay, let's see now. Is there anything up here other than trees? I don't think there is. Let's not lose 
HP randomly. Okay, let's group back up. They are sleeping. There's... I thought that was another burrow hold, I'm not gonna lie. Another hole. What is Ithbank? Uh, that's just a drink. Alright, can I give him more to drink? Let's see. What? Cracked wall. Well, I can't click it, so I'm assuming I gotta smack it down. But if I smack it down, I'm obviously gonna wake everybody up. Okay, let's explore our options. We got some antidotes, some potions right here. Okay. Alright, I think I just leave my party here. And teleport with Gale because Guy is much faster. Please just teleport down there, thank you. Alright, let's grab this potion. Got a random dead adventurer. Good find. Can you please teleport me up there, game. Thank you. I think I accidentally clicked on the plant. We got a chest down there. Also a goblin down there. Oh, we got multiple goblins down there actually. Let's not... Let's not mess with the goblins just yet. Let's... let's there's a dead person here. So I am assuming they may be traps. Now, I see a chest there, so I'll just teleport right there. Let's use knock on the chest. There's a... There's a collapsed burrow. Can I use that? Ooh. A glowing shield. Do I give this to... Carlac? I could give this to Carlac. So she has more time to heal up. Whenever she gets hit. Because she can't self-heal because of the good old bone weapon I gave her. Let's see now. Send to Karlak. Alright, can I enter Collapsed Burrow? But before I try that, let's see if there's anything else. That's a big hole in there and I apparently cannot go there. Okay. Alright. Oh. Okay. Uh, I'll just jump here. Okay. Are you kidding me, game? I did not touch any trap. What do you mean? I quite literally avoided the traps. I'm confused. <sighs> okay, it's fine. Let's go back to Borrow Hole. Or... What this was called. Collapsed Burrow. There we go. Um, I can't seem to be able to go inside. Is that not a hole I'm supposed to be able to enter? Huh. I mean, that's weird. Okay, I guess not. Got a backpack over here. I think I just teleport a party at this point. 
Group back up. Go this way. Flowers, leaves, grass. Can't beat it. True story. I was raised in the city. Nature. More used to feeling cobblestones underfoot than grass and fallen leaves. Before I went to Avernus, I'd have agreed with you. Nothing quite. All right, let's give Karlak a glowing shield, because why not? This does give... Oh, it's the same. Okay. Gotta remember, I do have this, which I will probably feed to Gale. When he actually asks for it. What's on your mind? I'm confused as to why Gale doesn't even ask for it, by the way. Because I know for a fact Gale asks for magic artifacts, and he hasn't asked for a single one yet. I'm confused. Oh. Alright! Okay, we got some pork, we got some potions, focus, vigilance, resistance, very cool, very cool. Alright, we need magic armor. If I do level 2, it does nothing. Okay, it's fine. Arcane recovery is useless. The reason it's useless is because we don't need it. I wish I could arcane recover other people's spells. That would be kind of nice. Okay. I'm gonna be using... Uh, do I want to use will for dialogue? You know what? Let's not. Let's just go with Kremiel, because she is the main character of the story. Or rather, our main character. Let's talk to dude. Help us out. Says here the goblinoids are obstreperous and malodorous. What's that? That's mean you're stupid and you stinky. Or smelly and noisy? <laughs> goblinoids. Ain't that the truth? Proper stink around here, now we've settled it. And all that ruckus makes it hard to concentrate on reading. Ah. Yeah, most goblins don't do that, do they? That's what the bloke who wrote this said. Proper impressed by my brain smarts, he was. Said he's writing a book about the absolute. Lads didn't like that. Said he was a spy or some such. That's him. At the party. Warbly oh, hey, the bard. Well, I had a good chin wag with him. Didn't guy said he has invisibility potion? <laughs> I gu I'm guessing the invisibility did not work out for him, huh? Huh. Yeah, he mentioned that about a thousand times. Don't matter how famed he is. He's gonna end up a supper. Okay. Um. Could I see his manuscript? I, finished with it. I guess not. But enough reading here to last me a lifetime. As the symbol glows, ah. power courses through you. Authority. Mm, Mother Yakar, give me book. <laughs> um. It says two. I can scan his mind. Hmm. Nah, let's use intimidation. Yeah, let's intimidate the good old gobble. Can you please work? Thank you. I clicked like three times. People say goblins are savage. He ain't worth fighting over. Take it. Thanks for the book. 
All right. Okay. Uh, for this new god, then even the most stalwart devotee of Helm or Tempus. Unable to discover the domain of provenance of the symbolizing deity. Okay, so he doesn't know anything. All right. Oh, Gale's inspired. Okay. All right. Well, time we get we go down there, I guess. I'm thinking we just teleport right in there. Where is Saza though? Let's see. Uh, Halsin is supposed to be inside, but I don't really know if we care about Halsin. As the druid from the grove, we did kill a couple of his friends. Well, are they friends though? Wait. I killed three tieflings. The, thief, the, the thieflings are about to be sent away from the grove by... Uh... Koga? I think was her name? Anyway, it's fine. Alright. We do this. Hey, we found these people. Bottoms up, hey. These little lads snagged some pretty decent drink. Oh. All right, let's talk to Brina. It's good to be among allies, isn't it? Are we allies though? I don't recall being allied with you people. But I guess y'all think what you want. Reduce them to cowering, Filfenny. So, raise it, your goblets, and drain them with pride. Draw Ragslin, the true soul, had led you gallant. I reckon Draw Ragslin's the gobbo in charge, the way this one's carrying on. Okay. Hmm. I'll just say bravo, I guess. Who's that? Friend of yours? You up to something? Oops. Randomly suspicious. Okay. I'm busy here. You lying. To you? Never. Come. Let's continue our ballad. <clears throat> Draw Ragslin. Draw Ragslin. <laughs> <laughs> I am a draw Ragslin, um, um, Tumptuous, uh, draw Ragslin, uh, um, you broke him! Yep. Wait, wait, draw Ragslin, we pray, we... Come on, pigeon, back to your cage. Well, now, look what you've done. I mean... I mean... Oh, we can't talk to him anymore. Anyway. Let's see. There's a music box here. I could steal, but... There's a trader here. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna visit trader just now. Let's group everybody up, Gale included. Let's try to find Saza, I guess? Hmm. Let's hope we find him in one piece. Damn, that's a big boy. Hmm. You know, let's not enter the stronghold just yet. Let's go backwards. Okay? Let's go exploring a little bit. Make sure we kind of get as much as possible from this area. Before we move forward. Oh, that's another big boy. 
Just a, a tad smidge smaller. Uh, whoops. I stepped in something. Come on. There we go. Oh, I don't think I've been up here, have I? Alright, Gale, do your thing. Let's see now. I need to teleport. We wish an up here. And another one up here. Let's try the walls. Oh, I accidentally just removed it. Hold up. Where is my thing? There we go. Let's teleport all the way over there. There we go. Got a chest here. Okay, we're taking those. Another chest on the other side. Ooh. Arrow of Aberration Slaying. Double damage to Aberration. That's kinda nice. An arrow that cures. Interesting. Um, I'll send this heavy crossbow to... Do I send it to Kremiel? Sure. I think I'll send these to Kremiel as well. We got a spear. There's a potion of healing. We take that. And I think that's it for the walls? Question mark? Have I been there? I don't recall, so let's try to see if there's anything on this side. There seems to be nothing here other than maybe some some chest that is... You know what? Yep. Druidcraft? What is this? Create harmless sensory effect that grants you advantage on intimidation checks. Instantly snuff out or light a source of fire on an object. Huh. An open crate? Some sandals? I don't really care for that. Well now, that is all I got. Can I teleport to the other side? Question mark? Not really. Okay. Alright, I'll just teleport everybody after I move with Gale. Oh, what is... What is over here? Hello. Ooh. 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 Right in there. I almost teleported right on top of that. Huh. Alright. I just knocked, hello? Okay. For some reason I had to specifically click the head of the chest. That is a lot of gold. Elixir, some oil. This. Great Axe plus one. Karlak! Maybe... I don't know. There is a document here which I will read. Let's see. Something about Ragslin. Dearest, your excellency and most prettiest Minthara, you might not remember me. I ain't nobody important after all. Not yet. I was chasing chickens with the lads when we came to visit boss Ragslin. He looked right at me when he told him that if we, we was good at killing humans... As we was at pluck and poultry, we might be worth them. Made me feel proper special to be recognized like that. Next raid, I'll spill so much blood, the absolute will have to notice me. Then I'll come to Moonrise, and you'll notice me too. Clogga. The one with the stumpy leg and the gra the gammy eye. What? Okay, we found some random gobbles, uh... 
secret stash, I guess. Uh, this is the first time I've actually been inside here. I've never seen that place. I mean, I've seen it before. I just... I was never there before because... I never jumped down there. To find it. There's another place here. The fact that I can teleport is so convenient. Survival check. Got him. Who? Random gobble thing. I'm talented. All right. Ready and willing. Everybody's gonna sit here and Gale's just gonna teleport away. I'm sorry, this teleport thing is so convenient. It is way too convenient. I could go straight to the other side. But let's not do that. Is that blood? You seem to know a good deal about our condition, Gail. Everything, really. Not at the two finer points on it. Let it be. A humble specimen, aren't you? Gotta remember, I'm still technically looking for Saza. Okay. Um, check map? What is in there? We got a pile of bones. Let's not move from over here, because since I do have dimension travel, I can just, or leap rather, I can just do this. Which again is extremely convenient. <laughs> Let's check this place out. I can just avoid most of the goblins, just in case they randomly proc a dialogue which may start a fight, just accidentally. I'm just gonna avoid fighting for now, if possible. Let's see what's this way. Mountain Pass. Oh. Bitterly difficult for my party level. Yikes. Okay. Okay, so we're not supposed to be here. Noted. Can I move? For some reason I'm stuck. Okay, I found something. I'm not supposed to be here. Anything over here? Not really, no. Grimy chest. Hmm. Eh. Why am I unable to move? Perception. Ah, we are not heading into traps. Let's not do that. Okay, so if you're planning to attack the gobbles, you can also do it from over here, huh? Alright, let's ungroup again. And just teleport around with Gale. Let's see where can I teleport? How about right here? Ooh. This place is more dangerous than I thought. All right. Teleport outside. Sunlit wetlands. Hey, I found a place where I was trying to get to. At some point. So this is the place I wanted to come to. But you need... If you don't have Misty Step or Dimensional Leap. And Teleport Party. Or Misty Step on everybody. What you do is you get Leap. And you get... Uh, Featherfall. There we go. And you just jump there without taking damage. I have never been there, but I do plan on going there. Adult Frog. Sunlit Wetlands. 
Okay, I'm trying to look at the map and let's see. So we fell here with the Nautiloid and we are basically on the other side right now. If I see this correctly. That's it. Have I been here? No. Okay, we're going there first. We are going there first. Alright. Dimensional travel is extremely convenient. I'm not gonna lie. We got a couple gobbles up front. Okay. Anything around here? The Starion doesn't like nature, apparently. Never spent much time there myself. I'll happily take you if we survive this bug's banquet. Mm, sounds good. Oh, you sniffing where you ain't ought to be, friend. Brother. Might have to take that nose. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Hmm. Do we use the Illithid? I don't know if using Illithid helps with anything. Or... Like boosts our Illithid powers or something. Or Anyway, it is story related, so we might as well just use this, I guess. Also, it's an easy roll, even though I failed horribly. Yes! Yes! True soul! Your mind lurches, reeling suddenly as if bitten. Uh-oh. Bitten? That's bad. So let's not use this. That is... I think we don't use the thing. I actually think we don't use the worm. Okay. Let's read the other one. Again, I'm only doing this that because it might help. Now, what I do know... As much love as I hold missing for children. Game. Maggie Terrence, Marcus. Is that I want to beat these uh, ogres right now? This is a howling wasteland. We'll see now. I haven't even had a bath since the abduction. Slime. I think, at least for right now, we beat the ogres. I don't recall if I need to actually touch these for them to activate, by the way. So if y'all know, do let me know. Because I'm not completely sure. I do want to beat them ogres over there, by the way. If I smack this fool, will others come to his rescue? Are there others here? Oh. Gale's looking like dying. Apart from finding me an artifact to consume. Okay. Which I assume you're pursuing with the appropriate urgency. Alright. He's finally basically asking it. That is most gratifying to hear. May I? Sure. Let's see. We give you... The one which is technically the most useless. And I believe that would be the silver pendant Shadowheart is wearing. Or I just give him the the rapier, the not the rapier, the scimitar. It 
even though I could technically make Karlak dual wield. Mm. Yeah, let's not let's not waste the. Wait, hold up. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! I don't want to give you this many. How do I? Yo. Perhaps I'm not conveying the urgency. Okay, hold up. It's incredibly. World shatteringly important that you give me a suitable artifact, please. All right, one, Gale, one. Let's not be greedy here. One. What do you mean, no? One is not enough for you? I am very much confused. How many do you need? What? I'm glad to see you're so well stocked on suitable relics. Okay, I'll just give you two. Okay. Um. Did I not just give you like two? The fudge. I said you don't quite appreciate the urgency. Gale, are you broken, my guy? I just gave you two. Okay, I didn't. <laughs> oh, you'll have to speak slowly. I'm finding it quite difficult to concentrate in my condition gnawing at my insides like a teething displacer kitten. Alright, come on, Gale. That is most gratifying to hear. May I? Come on, Gale. Surely one will actually work this time. Thank okay. You. Fuck it all up. Grandpa, you got your your TRT injection. Now can we move on? All oh, I'm glad you're feeling better. I guess. Oh, it's not so bad once you get used to it. And on the plus side, my tower in Waterdeep has never been so free of clutter. Hmm. Sincerely, though, I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. But in time, all will be told. Hmm. That condition really is an expensive one, though. But at the same time, the items we are losing currently are not... Not all that good. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, we smack this fool. Picks a fight. The consequence. Brother, shut up. Huh? What? Confusion just hit me hard. Alright, can we please kill this one goblin? Bro! Do you see where I'm holding my mouse? Why are you moving there? Jesus Christ. Alright, Shadowheart, you are getting destroyed for no reason now. Please, just... This one dude, bro! Oh my god. Look at my HP on Shadowheart. What the flip? Ah, that's cringe, bro. That was not supposed to happen. I'm just saying. I don't want to waste the spell slot. I'm ready. Whatever it takes. Okay, who has potions? Asterion has one potion. We do not need potions on Asterion at all. I'll give this one to Shadowheart. Okay. Scare up a few dusty bottles of wine somewhere. I like your way of thinking. Okay, who doesn't have a helmet? Who does not have a helmet? 
She has a circlet. Got a helmet. Starion has no helmet. Karlak has no helmet. Will has no helmet. I think I just... I have plus six saving throws. Oh, I mean, we don't technically need it, but... I guess... Oh, it looks kind of nice on a Starion, actually, but let's not use it like that. All right. Now what I need is to lump the enlightened one. Okay, the one that is enlightened by something. If I recall, this dude here has one specific item that I just kind of want right now. I want to give it to somebody that is low int and uses int spells, which may just be Shadow Heart. It's a crown that sets your int to 16, if I recall. So let's go up here. You know what? I think I destroy everything we can in here. Hmm. How do I do this without getting destroyed? I'll just go up there, I guess. Let's make sure my party... Oh, well. Let's make sure my party doesn't get destroyed by those ogres. I'll just go with Gale alone. Okay, I'll just go with Gale alone and see what happens. All dimensional leap. Can I go all the way up there? Not right away. Alright. Now, technically, they should not be able to see me from over here. Technically, we are fine. I said we might not be fine for long. Okay, let's do magic missile first. Or do I use blindness? I think I blind them first. If I do this, will it affect Magic Missile, though? I'm not sure, but let's do Blind first. Okay. If I use Blind again... The other one will break. Eh. Okay, surely other dude does not randomly see me. Can't find path. What do you mean? Isn't this the spell that just goes random? I can hit your ankle almost. Eh. What do you mean you can't find the path, bro? Oh my god. I'll just teleport here, I guess. Surely you find the path from over here. I'll just do Melf's Acid Arrow first. Oh, that's so bad. Dormant Abyss. Huh. I'll just do this first. But they will obviously see me. You know what, I'll do turn-based mode for now, because I feel like I, I kind of just may need this. I'll see what happens if I do this. What the fuck? Ah. Blurred! Okay, this dude is going for the ladder? Can this 
Fat ass just climb a ladder, bro. Okay, they are all dashing. At the same time, they are all grouping. Which is okay. Can I hit from here somehow? Technically, yes, but the camera is so goddamn bad, bro. Path is interrupted, so I could hit, but I can't. I'll just try from over here. I'm probably gonna get hit by a fucking rock. I can't throw my damn thing from over here. How can you not find the path, brother? That is absurd. What is the range on this? I wish it would just tell me how far away I am. It just doesn't. And it's annoying. Let's throw grease. Let's just throw grease and hope they fall. Okay, one goes prone. That is decent. Time to move over here. Make sure I don't randomly get hit. Here's hoping they don't see me from all the way over there. I think Gil can pull this off solo. Because I got so many spells to spare. And I think we have fire. Can I shoot it from here? Mm hmm. Kinda. Kinda gotta move just a little bit. Is there a way to hit them both though? I don't think this hits them both. It's fine, I'll just do this. Yeah, it's a little bit annoying, but it is what it is. I'll just do that. Hopefully I don't get cucked by wild magic. Kurt, I need to just, just get rid of the 61, uh, 69 one. Let's see now. I think I grease the other dude as well. Hopefully he falls in fire. Very cool, by the way. The fact that you can even do that. Let's just make sure I move there. They are dumb as hell, bro. <laughs> uh, Alright. I think I grease again. Try to make these ones fall. And sit into fire. The other dude is prone. Move backwards. Chip him down. Keep in mind, they're moving through fire. Okay. Alright. Enlightened one is moving in a way in which I do not like. I'm not gonna lie. I think we use flame again. Or... I tried the Melf's Acid Arrow for once. I kind of just need to be in a different spot, so I'm thinking I teleport on this side again. The fact that I got spells for free with Gale is so broken, bro. Alright, let's see this. This did nothing. Cringe. That did not even apply the acid effect. What? Okay, that's silly, but sure. My fire is gone, I don't like that. I don't like this dude being here, I'm not gonna lie, so... We're going back. They have a lot of HP. I don't really... I don't really want to take my party into this, but I feel like I may have to do that. Before I do that, though, let's try to flame them again a little bit. Or... I'm seeing something here. 
Let's try to hit this pole. How, what do you mean I can't fu- Bro. Ain't no way. This magic missile just broken now for some reason. <sighs> Finally. Please break. Okay. Never freaking mind. For some reason I can't break the pole. I was hoping I break the pole and it just falls on top of them. How do you see me there, by the way? How? I'm confused. Alright, we just pulled the entire party in. Well. We don't have a choice now. Alright. Gail, you, you tried. You tried, buddy. You really did. Okay, whose turn? This guy? You bugged or something? Hello? Come on. Come on. Come on, chalk. <laughs> chalk. Okay. Surely now I can hit, no? Okay, finally. Finally! Alright, that's a lot of damage. And I am slowed now, apparently. Oh, I think... If I go on the other house, and I encounter some random goblin, it's gonna be annoying. So I'll just do this. Unfortunately, I can't hunker down. But it's fine. Alright, Lazel. I'm gonna count on you with a little bit of cold. Okay, you did hit, but it was basically a failure. I will move here. Hopefully this dude can't throw stuff at me anymore. <laughs> Alright, this guy is definitely going upstairs. Uh oh. Um. Oof. Uh, that is so bad. How many acid arrows does this guy have? I'm pretty sure he used three at this point. Which is kind of weird to me. But it is what it is. Alright. Hit him hard. Absolute failure. Sure. <laughs> Alright. Can I somehow save Gale with Shadowheart? It's 18 meters. It's not even close to being... It's not even close to being what I need. Alright, I got 10 turns. If I do this, it doesn't grant me any benefits. I need Shadowheart to just get the gale. That's all I need from Shadowheart. I'm gonna have to go around because this big dude is in the way. I can drain life, but I don't think this is all that good. It's 8 necrotic, 16 necrotic though. I got lay on hands. I can self heal. I gotta remember that. Uh, no, I actually can't. I can heal an undead ally. But it says no effect on undead. What? That's weird. I do have three lay on hands actions. Ugh. Alright, we're doing this. I'll try. Okay. That's 16 and it heals me a little bit. 65, I think I just gotta... 
I got a sneak attack with a Starion, hope for the best. Okay, we got an 18, that's decent. Let me move out of the acid. Can a Starion teleport all the way over there? I don't think he can. Though I will try. To just, you know. Ooh, I think I'm gonna get hit by a dude over there. I'll try to drop the house on him, if possible. Alright, William. We'll see what you got for me. Sure, let's just go melee, hit him hard. 8 damage is not that hard, but it's still 8 damage. Okay, Lazel. How hard can you hit? Does not seem to be all that hard. Please don't miss a 70. Okay. We got 12 damage. Come on, Fank. Okay, that's good. We got a Firebolt on a Sterion. Bear in mind, a Sterion can heal if he runs through blood. So, technically, he could frontline. I'm gonna try to just smack him. There we go. There we go. Now, Karlak can go try to pin this dude down. Very cool. Very cool. Can I somehow get over there? Okay, I'm gonna have to jump here. There's no way I can... Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Let's dash. I'll just move as close to Gale as I can. I don't know if, I, if, if I'm able to heal him from over here, but I'll try. I don't think I can do this because it's melee. But I may be able to heal him from here because I am in range. So I'm guessing I'll just try that. I think I need shadow meld, but I don't have shadow, uh, I don't have level, level one spell. I wish I could just get in there on this dude, but it's fine. All right, we are going into melee with big boy. Let's go. I, I don't even know how that misses, but sure. Is there some blood inside there where I can teleport to? Or can I teleport with a Starion? To Gale? I, I, I can't. <laughs> I can't because the camera is so bad, it doesn't go up. I'm not even in range. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna go through blood, so I get some HP back. Move him out of the way. Hopefully he doesn't get hit by AoE stuff. And just do this. Nice. Also, we do gotta remember, I have bloodletting. So I'm gonna try to heal Lazel. It's gonna have to be next turn though, but it's fine. I'll just get out of the way with the good old uh, Astarion. Let's do this. There we go. Decent damage. Decent damage. Moving closer. I'll just be here. All right. Do I second wind?
Lavelle is not really re all that reliable so far with her melee hits, I'm not gonna lie. I think I just magic missile here. Okay, at least that works. And we do this. Okay, I don't need to heal her now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do not need to heal her anymore now. Alright. I think I just leave Gale to die at this point. He's dead anyway. And he's gonna revive once I deal with these ogres. Yes. We are almost at two hours. Damn. Come on, game. Stop stalling. This is taking forever. Hey. Alright, Karlak. Hit him. Nice. Alright, now we rage. Can I still move? I don't recall. But I will try. There we go. Okay, is there a way I can get... It's too high. Damn it, man. So I can't even save him? Can I heal him? No, because he's dead. Okay. Well, uh, rib gale. Anywho. If I do this, will that break Sanctuary? I am technically not hitting him. I don't really want to use Shadow Heart. Uh, I don't want to waste spell slots. I don't really want her to die either. I wish I had the level 2 spell slot. I'm not gonna lie. I don't want to use the Divinity right now because this one's dead anyway. I think... Even though this is melee, can I get to Karlak somehow? Let's see, how far can I, go, can I run? Uh, please don't... Jesus! Okay. I'll just go and give Karlak Blessing of the Forge. I think that's the play. Or I just give it to Kremiel. I'm scared to move through this house, I'm not gonna lie. The reason is because if that pole breaks, the house may just fall on top of me. I'll just keep Karlak inside there. Okay. I think I Crimson Blink. I just get in range and I don't have advantage anymore still not completely sure how advantage works but I do hit him hard never mind I miss <laughs> I miss those okay we move a study on we get him up here hopefully dude doesn't just randomly climb up here or throw me off with something with like a rock Okay, that dude is so far, bro. I was counting on Gale, but it's fine. I can still make this work. Hmm. Oh, just barely in range, I think. Critic. Ah! Oh! Pain! No crits. No crit failure. Rather. <laughs> Pain! Alright. If you're going back in... Oh, never mind. Oh, he critical missed. Hit him. Boom, baby! I wish I had another hit at least. It's fine. I'll make this work somehow. I don't... Can I... 
Let's see now. What can I actually do with uh <sighs> without using my divinity and such? I think just this just has to be the play. Oh, she has no armor. E ah. I'll just do this. And go into melee. Remember, I haven't hit anybody. 18 AC. The forge thing does not show up anywhere, by the way. I'm just saying. So this is passive? I'm confused. Oh, okay. So we do get it. It's, it's, it's passive after activation. Path interrupted. I'll just jump here. Alright, can I hit from here with a piercing shot? I can. Uh, sure, let's just get into melee. I'm thinking the perception thing was because of the pole. Okay. Got a 96, but can I get advantage? I can. If this crits, that's very cool. Almost? Almost? Alright, can I get you close enough to actually hit? I don't think I can. That said, if I dash, I can get very close to doing something next turn. Okay, that's the other pole. <laughs> I think I just bone chill. What? Confusion. Why can't I do this? There we go. I, I guess I was obstructed by something. One, bro. This this character is 16 int. You're telling me she rolled a one. Jesus. All right. My normal weapon hit is much stronger than the tail. As a crit, I'll take it. Okay. Um, you know what? I actually don't want to be here with the uh, Shadow Heart, but it's fine. I just have to check. <laughs> I don't really want to. I don't really want to be in melee. Shadow Heart is bad in melee. So I'll just do this. Okay. That actually hit. I'm surprised. Alright, we go melee. I don't really want to use a Lay on Hands charge. It's a 70% melee, so it's fine. It's, it's good. Good enough for me. Alright, Asterion, do the sneak. He did. What? Brother! That was a 96%, was it not? Holy! This dude... Actual Super Saiyan, just Ultra Instinct the fuck out of that one, if you know what I mean. Okay. Can I please kill this one ogre? Holy hell. Come on, Lazel, do the, do the melee for once. There we go. Oh, brother. Okay, that saves Gale. Fang has nothing. If I do recall, the dude that is outside has what I need. I do remember killing them once before, and big guy had circlet of intelligence. Where he at? The enlightened guy. Yes, this dude has a circlet of intelligence. Just sets into... Yep, there we go. So it sets into 17, not even 16. Okay, I'll just give this to, let's see, do I give it to Shadowheart, so she can make use of the flame, 
So she finally is useful from range. I do not think I have anything. I've never used the Lums Warhorn, by the way. I don't know what that does, but I'll read that. Also, this. Day one, day four. Uh, three day skip, okay. Let's see. Sound this horn to call Lump's frenzied band of ogres. They will feast on anyone they can get their hands on, but if you've made a deal with them, they will make an effort to spare your party. Ah. Ah. Well, anyway. <laughs> Can't give up now. All right. Let's see now. I got eight int on. Uh... Yeah, I have eight int. On Kremiel. But I have nothing that uses intelligence as of right now. So giving her that is actually kind of bad right now. However, if I give it to Shadowheart, that is decent. That said, who actually got it? Also, do I use this? Because this is a good weapon, but at the same time, it's actually way weaker than I thought it would be, I'm not gonna lie. Also, it's a 1d12. We don't like that. Also, that y Yinogu's gift is really good, I feel. The self-heal from this one flail is broken. What now? Who got the circlet? It's not on Will. It's not only... Is it on Gale? Where is my circlet, brother? Where are you at? Where the fudge is my... Where did my item go, hello? A sort by latest. Hopefully we find it. Am I just blind? Am I just blind and I just do not see it? I just picked the circlet up and I'm not seeing it anywhere. What the what the fuck game? Hello? The horn, the scroll and the diary is here, but where is my circlet? It's it's not in his inventory. It's not in my inventory. Oh, I, I sent it directly to Shadowheart. Never mind, never mind. I'll just give her the circlet. It actually looks kind of decent on her. Headband of intellect. Does set int to 17, which means this can technically finally do something. Well, I think that's it for the video. We are two hours, actually past two hours. Finally found a decent item for Shadowheart to make her flame not be useless. And I think that's all we can do for right now. Also, I know for a fact, if I use that circlet, I cannot raise my int any higher. Unless the mods change that. No, we. I don't think we can set it any higher. Yeah, it's set to 17 and that's it. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will see you guys in the next video. Where I think we get inside the Goblin Stronghold, finally.